Hello everyone, here's another one to add to my rainbow playlist. They are a rainbow macadon with a rainbow buttercream filling. Starting off with a small bowl and one half cup of ground almonds. Added to that is one cup of powdered sugar, also known as icing sugar or confectioner sugar. I whisked those two things together and then I sifted them together just to make sure there weren't any large lumps in there. I found that the ground almonds I was using, there were some larger pieces and by sifting I made sure all of those were removed. In a large bowl, place two egg whites and beat these with an electric mixer at medium speed until they are foamy and there's not a lot of liquid left in the bottom of the bowl. Then gradually add in five tablespoons of wet granulated sugar and beat this on high until you get stiff peaks. The mixture will be white, glossy, and when you pull the beaters out of the egg whites, it forms these very stiff peak shapes. They're very pointy, they stand straight up and they don't flop over. Those are stiff peaked egg whites. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients to the egg whites and to begin the process called the macadonnage, which is basically the blending of the dry ingredients into the egg whites and the stirring of the mixture until we reach the right texture. So basically you fold in the dry ingredients and you continue to fold and scratch the surface of the mixture, pulling it up the sides of the bowl. And the purpose of this is to get rid of some of that air you beat in. And you wanna get rid of just enough air so that it's at the right texture. Now the right texture is something that looks a little like lava out of a volcano. So when you stir it and pull that spatula out, it should flow off the spatula like lava out of a volcano. That's the best way to describe it. So you don't want it too thick so it falls off and glops and you don't want it so thin that it runs off like water. You want it to flow like lava. And that is really one of the hardest parts of making this recipe is recognizing that stage. Now to get the rainbow colors, it's quite easy. This is a piping bag with a plain round tip and I'm using some gel food coloring and a clean brand new paintbrush. And I'm just going to draw stripes of each of the rainbow colors on the inside of the bag. Then you're gonna fill that piping bag with your egg white mixture. And then you're gonna pipe your little circles onto your cookie sheet. I'm using a silicone mat, but you can also use parchment paper for this as well and just pipe on little circles. I pipe them by holding the pastry bag 90 degrees to the cookie sheet and then squeezing until I get the size of circle that I want. And you can see how easily those colors transfer to the egg white mixture. It's actually quite amazing the way it happens like that. Once you're done piping, then take the cookie sheet, give it three or four hard wraps onto the countertop. This will get rid of any ridges or any little peaks that were left from the piping. Let them sit for about 15 minutes to a half an hour until when you touch them with your finger, none of the mixture comes off onto your finger. It makes like a little dried skin on the top of them. That step is very important. Then bake them at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes until when you touch them, that top of the macaron doesn't wiggle around. It seems like it's solid, but you do not want them to brown. Once they've cooled a bit, you can remove them and place them onto a rack to cool completely. There is a completed macaron half. And you'll know you've succeeded is when you hold it up and look at it, you will see that it has a little ridge or a little ruffle all the way around. And they call those feet or collarette in French. Now for the filling, I'm just using a plain old buttercream. I'll put a link in the description box to a video where I show you how to make this. And I use the same rainbow technique on the inside of the piping bag. So I painted the little rainbow stripes with the gel food color. I put the plain white buttercream in there. And when I squeeze it onto one macaron half, you have another little rainbow and then add a second macaron. And there is a completed cookie. Now, a lot of people call these French macaroons. Now, a macaroon is a completely different cookie. It's made with coconut. And I actually have two or three macaroon video recipes on my channel if you wanna go check them out. They're equally delicious, but they're completely different from these macaron. These ones, if you've never had one before, have that crunchy kind of outer shell. So it crunches when you bite into it but then the inside of it is kind of chewy and then you have the buttercream or whatever other kind of filling you want to put in between them. I chose to put buttercream, but you could also put chocolate or jam or pretty much anything else you can imagine in the inside of these. They're very customizable. 
Now here's another kind of macaron that I've made before. These ones used Earl Grey tea. As a matter of fact, the video recipe I just showed you is the same recipe as the ones you're looking at right now, except I just removed the Earl Grey tea out of them. So it's a very versatile recipe and it's a nice small recipe. So if you're experimenting with learning how to make macaron, this is a good recipe to try because you're only using half a cup of ground almonds and just two egg whites. Nice small recipe. So why don't you give them a try and see if you can get some great results. Thanks for watching.